What's up, guys? This is the Growing Up Italian Podcast, and today we got the one, the only, Nick Cassano, a.k.a. Nicky Cass. What's Thanks up, for man? coming, brother. Oh, thank you so much Listen, for having me, dude. For all the listeners out there, this podcast has been a long time coming. Oh, my God. I th- it was like back when I was in college. It was February. We were texting, like, when are you going to come do the podcast? I said, oh, I'll come. You know, the when are you done couple, with school? Next couple of weeks, and then it turned into when I'm done with school, then it turned into oh, I just graduated, and it turned into, you know. I, think I even rescheduled <laughs> this one. I was supposed to come tomorrow, and yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. listen, I hate to be that guy, but I got to reschedule. But listen, nevertheless. Man, when, there's a, when there's a will, there's a way. Absolutely. Right here. It's been Absolutely. a long time coming. I just want to say, on behalf of all growing up at time, we're huge fans. Thank you. Of Nikki Cass. Thank you very much. We love the content. Thank Nono you. Nono Pasquale. Oh, thank We've you. All, we all have a Nono Pasquale. Oh, right? yeah. Oh, absolutely. So the first question I want to ask, is Nono Pasquale really Nono Pasquale? So it's actually funny. That, so the, the Pasquale character was actually based off of dads that would be at my old like baseball games when I was growing up. So I played baseball my whole life. Uh, what position is uh, you play? Second base. Okay. Second base, middle infield. There's not much you could do with 5'6". You're right, either right, in yeah. the middle infield, there you're DH. Like the Dustin Pedroia. Right? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Dustin Pedroia. I had posters of him growing up when I was... Oh, yeah? When I, oh, yeah. Dude, I love Dustin Pedroia. Are you Pedroia. a red so- you're, no, you're a Yankee guy? No, I'm a Yankee guy, but you know, like you got to root for the short guy yeah, yeah, yeah. growing up, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, but so I would, be, I would play on these teams... And we go to these tournaments, and there were dads, you know, just screaming at, like, uh, like, Goomba, friggin', you know, they, they call it, you know, uh, uh, they call Kalamad, like, Galamad, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, oh, here we go, Anthony, like, all that sort of stuff, so. Come on, come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. I love, I love the, the baseball content, too, like, uh. When you do the umpire, Paul Montgomery. Uh, yeah, bro, that's what I'm saying. Like, how you doing, Paul Montgomery? All, all, all it is, yeah, how you doing, fellas, <laughs> Paul Montgomery. Like, that was an umpire, actually. Is that his real name? In. No, no. His, actually, funny story. I actually met the guy. I never really, like, introduced myself or knew his name, but he was always an umpire in my high school baseball league. Mm-hmm. And, like, two weeks ago, I was over at the field recording something, and he was there. And I went over and introduced myself. Didn't tell him a single thing about like he's the inspiration for the for the Paul Montgomery character or anything like that. It was just like one of those weird moments for me. Like that, this is the guy I made the character. Did he? Uh, does he like see your stuff? Did he know? No, no, Paul no or... idea. No, no idea. idea. Which was perfect for me. But um, yeah. So the even better. It wasn't awkward. Right. Exactly. Like, if he would have asked, oh no idea. Like, oh, by the way, that's you. No idea. And and the best part about it is like he was like. Um, you know, I said, used to used to umpire my, my high school games. And he goes, oh, yeah, well, you know, do you want to be an umpire? Because they got the umpire school. And he's, like, pitching me the umpire school. It was classic. Like, no, but, I'm, I'm good right yeah, now. Yeah, no, I'm good. Actually, you have no idea, <laughs> like, the, the context of what's going on here. But, um, yeah, so the Pasquale character was based off of these dads at these, at these Little League games and at these travel games. And I feel like it just kind of transformed into a character of its own. Like, Pasquale, to me, is, like, a character that I just sort of created that it's got his own personality and, and whatnot. But the no, no character is based off of a member of my family, my mom's uncle, Gio Mario. So Gio, Gio Mario. Yeah. Okay. Um, we all have a Gio Mario. Yeah. Gio Mario. He is classic. Like he is just a bubbly dude, but he's like, he's goofy. Like the, most of the stuff, um, early on when I started making the content was based off of like true, True events. Real, real life stuff. Oh, yeah, like the Avatar stuff. Uh-huh. Is he like a big gambler? Because I always see no. like fantasy. No, but he, he's huge on the Mets. Um, oh, he's a big Mets guy? Oh, huge Mets guy. Um, not so much anymore, I feel like, but back then, huge on the Mets. Not really a gambler. Maybe he is, and I just don't know. Because the fantasy but, thing is like, what the hell is a waiver? Yeah. <laughs> I picked this guy. I, yeah. I love that stuff. So listen, you do... Italian content, a lot of sports content, yeah, sure. and a lot of like fitness content. I would say right? yeah, fitness, no, it's like, yeah, like uh, golf, sporty, like golf, stuff. sporty, yeah. motivational, yeah. inspirational. Yeah, I do. Where do you think most of your fans are? Have you ever thought of that? No, but I could tell from the Instagram insights when yeah. you go into the Instagram. You see what hits the most. Uh, yeah. yeah. So I think I got uh, New York, Chicago, and in Canada and Australia yeah. are two. Right yeah, I didn't even understand. Yeah. Where, like they I got, speak, they speak uh, English first of all. Yep, and they love the Italian stuff. Yeah, oh yeah. Australia was a shock to me. Yeah. Um, and it's always cool to see, like, when you get messages of people like, "Oh, I'm watching you all the way from Australia." I'm like, "Fucking hey!" Man. Yeah, because like our analytics too, like we see that Australia is like the number fourth one right after. Isn't Canada. it weird? Yeah. It's like I don't know, but, but 
Rock was just there, and he was saying like how much Italians are there. But there's sushi a lot mangoes of time. over there. Yeah, sushi mangoes. There's they a lot of people. Funny. Joe Avati. Yep. So there's a lot of Australian Italians out there. So it makes sense. But even just recently, you started doing like the football videos. Oh, yeah. And I just saw you did like a collab post with the Titans. Bro, that was crazy. I they didn't tell me. No. I I got home. I went. I went to the. Oh, bathroom. they just like requested. They just. It? They just fucking put it out. They were like here, and then approve re- requests, and I clicked it. That's and I was funny. like, holy shit! This Usually is when awesome. people do that, I'm like, this is too aggressive. Right, right. But I mean, it's the Tennessee <laughs> Titans. You know what I mean? <laughs> like at least give me a heads up. Like, are you yeah. down to collab? Yeah, no. This? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm right there with you. Like usually, I'm like, I'm like, you know, just, just shoot me a text. Let me know. Yeah, exactly, uh, you know, pick exactly. my brain. Ask if that's something you want to do. But they, they put it out, and I was like, I was. <laughs> Not to be too graphic here, but I was on the I was on the toilet and I went to you go say a nice guy, guy yeah, <laughs> and and I'm looking at it and I'm like, holy shit! My dad comes wrong. That's what? huge. What's the matter? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, the Titans, dad. They posted a video. That's legendary. Yeah, no, it was cool. I'm I'm definitely grateful. Would have liked the heads up, just yeah. you know, because I got a schedule and stuff. Exactly. But you know what? I get. What about if you just posted something and you're like, oh come on? Right. No, exactly. You know? uh, but I'm glad it worked out. Shout out to the Tennessee Titans, even though I'm not a fan of them. Yeah. Well, listen, we're fans now. Absolutely. I'm going to get a Derrick Henry jersey after this. They're sending, you know? they're sending it? No, 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 no. Should at least nah, have, you know get a little sign on, a little sign on you it? You know what's funny? I don't like asking for stuff like that. Yeah, I, that's why you're winning. You know what I mean? Like, for me, it's not about that. Like, if you're going to... If you're going to offer, I'll accept, but I'm not going to go out of my way to yeah. be like, you know what, yeah. send me a jersey. Because you're not a small-minded person. You see the bigger that. picture. I appreciate that. Yeah, picture. for me, for me, and you I know, think that's why on your journey you're winning because you see the bigger picture. You see it's more than just uh, selling merch. You you see like... Absolutely. Even, even as you like change, the reason why I asked that question about Italian and the sports is because yeah. a lot of creators like get stuck in that one thing. Yeah. And then they oh, yeah. can't get out of it. Oh, yeah. Because there's just so much you could do of the Italian stuff, oh, yeah. right? Like, Absolutely. look at us, right? We yeah. do it all day, every day. Absolutely. So I see it all. Absolutely. So when I see in like the transition with golf, the stuff, baseball, even like the challenges you do with Todd Frazier, like yeah. hitting it. And then I saw you actually complete a challenge and not the professional. Yeah, yeah. Oh, player. yeah. Oh, it's, it did crazy. And I appreciate you saying that because, yeah. like, for me, you know, I think, and, and what I've noticed along this journey is, like, when you come across people that just started doing it for fun, mm-hmm. it's very much about the process and not the goal. Like, yeah. for me, this this is a blessing in itself to be sitting in this chair talking yeah, to you. Yeah, you know yeah, what exactly, I mean? Like, it's, exactly. it's, not, it's not about, But at you know, the same time, you got to realize, like, that you worked hard for this. Absolutely. You deserve to be here. Oh, absolutely. I used to be like that, too. But now, more recently that, you know, we're six years into this, I'm like... Oh, absolutely. We know what we're doing. Oh, now, absolutely. You know? I mean, listen, when, when I first started, I, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I did not leave my house for seven months. Like, the best part of my day was going for a walk. The other part of my day was creating content, yeah. planning, how am I going to do this, reaching out, like, it, it's a, new, it is a grind. Ideas. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it, was, it was a grind, and you're right, because, you know, it's easy to, to, you know, like, I'm, I'm not a... Um, I try to be as humble as possible. So when I receive compliments or when I get recognition, it's hard for me to kind of accept it. But sometimes when you think and you think about how you ended up where you were, absolutely. I mean, it is, it's 24 seven sacrifice, mm-hmm. discipline. I mean, fucking hey, the yeah. list goes on and on. Being consistent. too. Oh, that's the huge, that's the you could be thing. the best, but if you're not yeah. like consistent with it, there's no point. So my two favorite collabs that I saw from you, well, Todd Frazier, one, because awesome. he's a Yankee and a Met guy and a Jersey guy. Yep. So he's like right there. Oh, yeah. What we love. You know, oh, like, absolutely. I could tell he has like that kind of uh, humor. That yeah. We have. Oh, yeah. He's a great dude. And the other one was Ben DiNucci, the, the quarterback <laughs> for the Cowboys. Oh, my God. Listen, I might be the only person in the world <laughs> that bought a Ben DiNucci jersey. <laughs> I'm that kind of guy when someone is Italian American yep. professional sports. Yep. I buy the jersey. I have a Jimmy Garoppolo jersey oh, that's and a awesome. Ben DiNucci jersey. Oh, that, I, I'll have to get him to send you something yeah, like a signed yeah, ball or signed jersey no, no, or yo, something. When when he comes to New York, like yeah, we'll set it up. Oh, well, hundred percent. We'll have like a li- nice little lunch. But tell us a little bit about uh, how that happened. Yeah, so so the Ben DiNucci one, I met Ben um, in 
early 2021 where he got a start. So I was doing like a fantasy football series. Yeah. It was like because he was backing up for Dak. And then no, he was him. third string. Oh, he was third it string. It was Dak, uh, Andy Dalton, then oh, Ben. Oh, that's right. Remember? That's right. And that's right. so that's right. he... Dak. Andy Dalton was like the most expensive backup yes. quarterback. Yes. <laughs> so Dal- uh, Dalton. So Dak goes down. Um, Andy Dalton goes down. And Ben's playing the Eagles on, on Monday Night Football. And, and he did good, too. He d- yeah, he did. Yes. He managed uh, the game. He, he did. He, for, for the amount of practice he got and for being thrown into the Wolves... I mean, he did fucking outstanding. Mm-hmm. Um, so in the, in, the, in the interim of doing this fantasy football stuff, I was doing... Um, so I, I was getting messages saying, yo, this guy, Ben DiNucci, he's Italian. Like, yeah, yeah, he's going to get the start. You should reach out to him. So I DM'd him like that Tuesday. I was like, yo... Before the start. Yeah, I'm, I'm like... No added pressure. Cause. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I'm like, yo, I'm thinking about <laughs> coming out with a video on Sunday. If you're around, sorry for the late notice. Um, no answer. I mean, not even, not even, yeah, not even left on scene. Then I would say four months later, he reached out. He reached out and said, "Yo, let's do something." We started talking, and he is just the most genuine, humble guy out there. I mean, he's funny. Can't say enough nice things. about Is he about like him. a real zip? You know what a zip is? Like a zip is like off the board Italian. Like no, 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 no. He's uh. Let me put it to you this way. We went to a pizza. We went to the local pizza joint by me, uh-huh. and we were at a large pie. He sits down. And he brings the yes a guy, and the guys. I mean, right off the boat Italian. Uh-huh. He's like, can we, can we get some some ranch? And I'm like, oh wow. Well, because he's from Pittsburgh, and I'm like, I'm, I turn to the guy and say, yo, there's a lot of Pittsburghers my, in like a lot of Pittsburgh Italians. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But that, yeah, but but when he asked for the ranch on the pizza, I said, all right, this guy went away to college. I said, <laughs> buddy, <laughs> I said, Ben, don't do that again. Okay, <laughs> like when I'm when I'm not here, go ahead. You could put. You know, everybody's hammering away at the pineapple yeah, joke. Yeah, every, I think we gotta start oh, with the ranch. Oh now. yeah, we, yeah. The ranch is the ranch. Don't do that. I mean, the guy worked hard to make the peachy. You can ask for ranch. Um, did he try it without the ranch? Or did yeah, he? no, he did. He did. Uh, I, I listen. Yeah, that's, that's classic. Right yeah, there. no, it was it was good. But that video, I mean, that ball is coming in. Like it looks like a hundred miles an hour. Like the first the first pass. In that video, I genuinely didn't know that it, the ball was going to hit my hands. Like, it just, like, hit my hands. I said, I, I didn't even happen. Like, the, the spiral's tight. Yeah, yeah, it hurts course. It hurts your your hands when you catch it. It's, it's Listen, nuts, man. It's a different dream, world. The dream jobs in sports, playing for the Yankees yep. and playing for the Dallas Cowboys. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, that's it right there. Yeah. So, the fact that an Italian-American kid played for yeah. the yeah, you know, those are the kind of victories that I. Oh, I take, absolutely, you know? and 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 you know this, this doesn't need to be mentioned, but I'm going to mention it anyway. Like he stayed with me, and my family. He cleaned up his plate. He he helped uh, bring the food He's out. A class he, act. He, he class out. Like you know, and it just just goes to show, you know, like where you come from, who raised you. You know, it's it's good, but I think, correct me if I'm wrong, because you've been doing the content for a long time, but what I think helped you, like just. Boom, like skip a couple of steps yeah, and like yeah. three years of hard work in one day. Yeah, yeah. Was like you went on a tear of just Barstool posts. Oh, yeah. Like Barstool yeah. was just posting like yep. one, two, Absolutely. three, like every week. Absolutely. And I was looking like, again, yeah. again, <laughs> again. Man, me too. Yeah. <laughs> me too. I'm like, listen, holy shit. How did know? that happen? They just reached out, sent the form. You, and- you no, know, so, you know, I, and, and this is where like, like now that I'm in this position, not not saying I'm I, I'm quote unquote made it, but now that like I, I kind of found my way and I'm mm-hmm. and I'm I'm consistent and I found sort of you know a what rhythm. Work, you know what works. I know for what works and what doesn't. But I I think back to like putting the pieces together. Like man, if I hadn't have done that, then who knows where I'd be at. And and you know I've, I've always been someone who likes to hustle. Like I I always I never had my hands in my pockets. Like always looking for something to do. Mm-hmm. Um. So when I would make the videos, I would send them every video. Didn't matter what oh, it really? was. I would, I I just would like, uh, DM them. Okay. I'd say, and I would say to them. And they would read it, right? Well, not, they're usually good at reading. Yeah, like, they, all they, the I think they got a couple guys yeah, or, they or have girls like a couple who, people on account. who read them. But I'd literally say, like, I think it's stupid if you don't post this. Like, I'd say shit like that. Oh, and, really? oh yeah. For, but, but, like, in my head, I didn't think they were going to. They were going to do it. They were going to post it, even look at it. And so one time I saw that they, they would read the message, and I was like, all right, like, let's, Step we might have something here. So um, the first one they ever posted was the one the, at the Little League game. When the Italian dads at the Little League. Yeah, Italian dads at the Little League game. And oh, no. 
Was it um, Italian versus American dads at the Yes, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So that's where I first started. Uh, that, that was like the first video I saw of yours where you kind of put the Italian American aspect yep. and the sports yes, together. Yes, yes, yes. And and you know, like it's all right, Jim. Get yeah, them next time. Yeah, but, Italian, like, so the whole thing with that was you know I started. So the first video I ever put out was um, American or non-Italian. I think I used American back then um, versus Italian dads uh, when you're going out, right? And the first kid is like, all right, dad, I'm leaving. And the dad's like, hey, sure, buddy, see you later. And then the other kid's like, all right, dad, I'll be back in like an hour. And the Italian dad's like, ooh, where the fuck you going? It's yeah. 8 p.m., it's Wednesday, where you going? Like, shit like that. So when that went out, people were commenting, because, like, I, I don't really look Italian by face. They're like, this isn't how Italians are. And, yeah. and so I was like, all right, like, I'm going to show you that I actually, I grew up Italian, old school Italian. So then I started doing the no, 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 and the sort of stuff. Um, but my friends would say, like, yo, you're you're funny, but not many people can relate to that. Yeah, and it's true. It's true. You know, so kind of a business move, but kind of kind of not because I, I enjoyed making the videos regardless. But it was like if you want to make more people laugh, you got to do more of the Italian dad stuff. So that's where the Little League Dad videos came into play. I sent that to Barstool, and they're like, "We're gonna post this," and I didn't fucking believe them. And I was like, All "But right. they sent you the form. They sent so me yeah. the form. I I submitted it. Whole day, I'm like, I'm like, when are they gonna put it out? When are they gonna? nothing." I get into the shower. It's like 9 p.m. Um, I'm listening to a song on full blast. What All was the song? You can't remember the song? Ah, that it, would have made it so much better. Yeah, right? I forgot. I if forgot. it was just like uh, Feel It in the Air by it, Phil Collins. <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> it it might have been, It might have been honestly, like a Dean Martin. You know what I like? A Campari by... Uh, uh, a Campari. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that whole yeah. song. Yeah, so I, it, it could have been that. But um, all of a sudden, like I'm getting like... Doo-doo, doo-doo. Like notification, that was a really bad no- and then you notification get some calls? sound. Did yeah, you get calls yeah, people to- are calling me, texting me. I get out of the shower. I'm like, why is my phone blown up? And I go on on Instagram, and that moment was like bone chilling, bro. Like that moment was the coolest moment, but the scariest moment of my entire life. Why like, is scariest? Because you can't you, you can't run from it no more. So like yeah. when it's out there, you can't control people's you, opinions. Exactly right. Yeah. And and you know I was 19 years old. I, I was still trying to figure out where I wanted to take this sort of stuff. And it's kind of like I lost, I lost, like someone took the ball from me for a second. You know what I mean? Like my dad always tells me, whenever you go through life, always make sure you got the ball in your hand. And I felt like I got the ball taken from me there for a second. Even though it was great, my name got put out there. I didn't know what the response was going to be like. So thankfully, you know, positive response. And even if it was negative, I'd still see, keep putting the stuff out. But, um, but that yeah. was the breakthrough moment. That was the breakthrough moment. Then I went to the HQ. I met everybody. I met the guy who runs the page. Um, I don't know if I could say his name, so I'm going to There's a guy I know, too, out. that runs the page. You know, we'll save that for after. Yeah. Because I do know um, they have, like, four or five people that run the Barstool page, and then, like, when they post it, they all agree. They don't, yeah. you know? Yeah, So and it's like a commission, yeah, almost. Yeah, yeah. So, um, I, honestly, I don't know if that's true. It might be. I just know the one guy mm-hmm. who I dealt with. Great guy. I think it might. We might have the same guy. Um, we'll say yeah. At, we'll, at the end of the pod, hundred percent. Because I text him all the time. Yeah, so. I, I text him too. Yeah. I text him too. Um, and he's a big fan of you, so I think I think it might be the same. Yeah. Guy. So um, great, great people over there. I, at the end of the day, to answer your question, um, I don't think I would have. Obviously, they they really like skyrocketed my my following very quickly. Yeah, right away you got, you know, a bunch of big fans. Yeah, I mean, I was waking up with 70,000 new followers at yeah, night. That's, like, that's it great. was wild. Um, that's why I said in the way, like, four years of work in one in, day. In one, yeah, and, but that's how it could happen. Yeah. Like, you know, I, I never, I never thought that it'd be, like, when I hit 10,000 followers, I was like, holy shit, I gotta do this 10 more times to get to 100. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, you're grinding, like, every day. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm endlessly grateful and thankful for those people over there. They're great people. Um, all the people in, in that office, but I could picture you working for Barstool. Do you a lot ever of think people about say that? that, you know, in a way of like creating content one, I think now I'm sitting down with you. I'm like, man, this kid's better at doing podcasts than me. <laughs> <laughs> I can see, I can I see. Mean, I've done a few of them, I know. you know, but I'm saying like you could one do podcasts two, you could create content and then three, you have the presence I feel Appreciate like that. a lot of guys they have, they just kind of throw them in there, you know? Yeah, I mean, listen. Some of them are great, but then know, some are just like, yeah. whatever, you know? So yeah. I could see you as one of those guys that you know how to hold your own. You know how to create content. You know what hits. 
and yeah. then you're good on the mic. So I appreciate that. I, you know, it was a thought for sure. Like when Portnoy, <laughs> yeah. But you know what? Too like, I gotta be honest, man. I gotta wake up every morning and pinch myself. Like I'm living the, the dream. Like yeah. it, it, if I if I got an offer from like a someone like Barstool or or another media, like it, I don't know. It'd be it'd be a tough decision, but I'd I'd probably say no, not not because of. And you know, I think about it too. Like there was there's so many opportunities for them to offer mm-hmm. something, um, and I just I don't know. I mean, you're Italian. You obviously have a faith, but I just I feel like God just kind of made it not happen on purpose because you I want to control your own destiny. I have, I have a beautiful relationship with them. It's it's just seamless. It's it's perfect. If I walked in there, I'd be shaking everybody's hands. Um, but I, I love what I'm doing, man. Like this is this is my favorite part. You're like talking dream, to guys man. like you. You got, a, you got a blessing that absolutely. you're doing what you love. Absolutely, you can really say you're doing what you love. And absolutely, that's the most important thing because you actually graduated college too. <laughs> so you got the brain like you. Worst case, you could go out tomorrow and get a, a sick job if you wanted to. Absolutely. But the fact of the matter is we're here, you know, creating content on Absolutely. social media. It's 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 awesome. Like it, it social media is wonderful. It really yeah. is. Game changer. And TikTok especially like gave us all Oh yeah. That platform. Oh. Yeah. I, I always tell people, um, like a few of my friends are want to get into the sports world and they want to start doing their own like sports media stuff. Content, and, like sports yeah, content? Yeah, content. And I'm like, TikTok is your ticket to get on people's pages for people to see you. I mean, take Kujin. Take yeah. Danny uh, from Meals by Kuj. Like, if he didn't start posting those TikToks, no one, no one's going to be able to see him. And now look what he's... Like, TikTok gives you a chance to like... It gives you the biggest chance. Mm-hmm. Um, so... Yeah, man. God let's bless. take let's take a little step back. Where'd you Where'd you grow up exactly? Grew I saw up. I saw Jersey. I saw, saw State. Went to school in Jersey. Montclair State graduate. Graduated ah. last year um, with a marketing degree. Um, oh, you're using it to you know. Oh, it works good, great. Good, good, oh, yeah. it works great. Yeah, very good. Um, and then so I'm originally from Rockland County, which is uh, the suburbs of New York, right outside the city. Um, That's like right by Westchester. Right? Yeah, around Westchester, um, but. Was there a lot of Italians in? You know, no. Um, and the, it, it's a good mix of people. Like I, most of the most of the f- friends I met who were like raised Italian, old school Italian. I met mm-hmm. in college. Um, shout out Dominic Liuzzi. But um, the, That's a, wait, does he own uh, Liuzzi's cheese? No, no. I I knew you were gonna say <laughs> that. No, they don't. But um, he's from South Philadelphia. They got a, a restaurant called Stogie Joe's. Uh, it's three brothers, but, um, yeah, so not many Italians where I'm from, but I grew up, I mean, Nona lives downstairs. My family's from Calitri, which is like... Yeah, where is that? So, okay, so... I was going to ask that question, too. Sorry, I jumped to no, okay. no, 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 no. So, um... Because I'm, cu- I'm curious, you know? Yeah. I only I only see Nikki Cass on social media. You know? Yeah. I only see Paul oh, absolutely. And- no, absolutely. My, uh... Okay, so if we're looking at the map, Italy, there's Naples, which is all the way yeah. to the left. Yeah. Then there's Salerno, which is underneath. That's where we're from. Yes. Yeah. And then right to the right, kind of in the middle of southern Italy, uh-huh. is Calitri. It's like in the mountains. I went to visit what when I was six. What region is it? Is it Campania? Uh, honestly, I feel not, I feel terrible too, that I don't know. You're not too low, right? No, no. I'm. We're literally right in the in the middle between Naples, Salerno, and then like. Oh yeah, Center so Italy. We're, you're close to us. Yeah, hundred percent. Like Avellino, almost. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, and then. It's right up in the mountains. I mean, population's like 500 people. That's, that's you, like us. You know what 2000. I mean? Like the, we're Paisans. This yeah. whole time we didn't know we were Paisans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but, yeah, my, my grandmother lived there. She uh, went to school till she was in the fifth grade. Then she stopped going to school, worked on the farm, um, trying to make ends meet with her family. Mm-hmm. Then she came over here. The Italian dream. Yeah, man. Your, like, dad, your dad and mom were born here? Yes. So you're yep. second generation. Of yes. Time. Yes. Yeah. Um, do you have brothers and sisters? I do. I have an older sister named Karina. She is Karina. I love you. She is the exact opposite. Of me. Really? Oh. She hates social media. Bookworm. Yeah. Like not hates social media, but like not she's involved. Not doing skits. It very. Oh yeah. <laughs> no. She's very introverted. Um, if you asked her to be in a skit, what would she say? I think she would do it. Yeah? I think she would do it. Yeah, I think she would. Karina, you make your debut. Or yeah. What? No, I, I think she would, but you know, I think it takes some convincing. Um, but she's a bookworm, man. I, she she inspires the hell out of me every day. She gets up 
at 5.30 in the morning. She's studying to become a pharmacist. She gets oh, up wow. at 5.30 in the morning. She, she goes for a run, and she's in the books from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. every day. Uh, me? Not for me. I can't. I can't do it. I, same here. People all the time say, oh, it's so crazy what you do with the painting shop growing up Italian, and then I see people are, like, studying to be doctors and lawyers. Yeah, I'm can't, like, yeah. That's, that's the, crazy. Yeah, you know that's what I mean? That's crazy, you know? Um, but, no, nah, it keeps me humble, man. It's hard not to work hard when you got when you got people like that around you, and especially in your family. But, yeah, I got one sister older. Um, yeah. Everyone thinks she's younger, though. Yeah? Yeah, she, she looks, looks younger? Yeah, she looks like she's 16. That's fine. <laughs> so, Nikki, can you do no-no on demand? What do you think? It's like I got to do warm up before the use of the voice. Yeah, absolutely. Do you ever For walk me- around doing no no? Oh, without- bro, sometimes. Okay, so sometimes I'll call restaurants and make a reservation, oh and I'll call God. them and be like, "Excuse me, how long it's gonna be for the like two people like it's seven to thirty p.m. please?" And they're like, "Oh, it's," a-. and then I'll be like, "All right, cool, thanks very much," and then I'll hang up. <laughs> so I like flip. Oh, what about with your family? You'll be oh, like, "Oh yeah, hey, there's no more grated cheese." Yeah, yeah. There. So. There is a long period of time, like, and for me, it was like practice. So, like, I would just, like, if, if I wanted to, I could just turn on whenever I wanted. It's so like a sneak attack. It can put in like that. But, um, That's like, classic. And, and like, you'll notice the Italians, like, the SN, when they say, like, sneak, it's, it's a Z, like, sneak, 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 sneak yeah. like, shit like that. Like but, a sneaker? Yeah, sneakers. Yeah, look uh, at this. You paid yeah. $200 for these sneakers. How much was it, the sneaker? In my no, my making me sick um but yeah so i would i would practice it around the house all the time my mom gets a kick out of it like my my mom will pee her pants laughing the outfits do you get them from anybody no no for me when i go to create a video it's like i'll i'll get the the orange hat i had i just i kept it consistent Mm -hmm. from when i started i just it was an old hat of mine uh the glasses i'll get from either nona or my dad um, and I'll just throw on a white T-shirt, but nah, the outfits, the outfits are, are all mine. So the no no sandals are yours. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent. I live in those the things. Birkenstock. Yeah, they're the Burks, bro. The Burks. They're comfortable. Oh, the Birkenstocks, and this isn't this ain't an ad. The Birkenstocks, when you when you slip your foot into the mm-hmm. Birkenstock, like after you wear, you got to get over the the uncomfortable face because yeah. when you first wear them, it's, it's like, a little hard. It's like wearing a brick, like yeah. the first time you get it. <laughs> But when you get comfortable wearing them things and, like, you sweating them, and, like, when you put your foot in now, it's like, hey, welcome home. You know what I mean? Like, they kind of just, like, give you a hug. Um, but, yeah, I Once wear... Once the form of the foot. Of the foot. Like, Italians I, are very big on the form of the yeah, foot. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. You just got to wear it till it gets the form. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, when you put inside your foot, it's like it remember the you it's a you foot. It's like the... Uh, Muscle com- memory. Yeah, like... Uh, but it's like the tempo meter, the mattress, the <laughs> one that we sleep on. Um, but the the Berks, yeah, I wear them with the socks. I wear them with no, no, no socks, but... You're um, not a big croc guy, huh? No, 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 no. For me, for me, no, I can't, I can't be rocking the Crocs. I like, and, and this is coming from somebody that wears socks, ankle socks with Birkenstocks. I, I can't, I can't be doing. You gotta wear them at least. Uh, yeah, no, up here I wear the ankle socks. It don't really matter, but yeah, like my feet though, like my, especially during the summer, like I let the dogs breathe. Like I let them pop. You like to breathe. do a little bit. Of, yeah, no, I, I let them. I let them go like this. You let them jingle. A yeah, little bit. you got it. I mean, for me, the the Birkenstock is my go to. Like, if I could wear a tuxedo with, with a Birkenstock? Birkenstock, I would. Like, I almost wore the Burks here, but I want to show you a little respect. Yeah. I that, that would be a fashion statement. Yeah, no, and I'll do it. And I, like, I did the the mic up NFL video in in the Birkenstocks. I do everything in Birkenstocks, but I got a got a black tone now right you're now. Agile, it's all you're agile enough. Yeah, bro. Like for me, like I've I've thought about going on runs in the Birkenstocks because it's so much effort for me to put on a shoe. I don't know why. I think it's the most annoying thing to do in the world. I'd rather just slip my foot into something that's gonna hug my feet and be on my way. But you know what? Keep it moving. Yeah, like for me, I ain't got time to tie my shoes. Just I tied them today though, just for you. This is the Growing Up a Time podcast. I'm gonna put Nikki Cass on the hot seat. Go ahead. Best five Italian cheeses. All right. Number one, you got to do mozzarella. I think mozzarella Mm -hmm. is, I mean, speaks for itself. Um, I think everybody could agree with that one. Yeah, mozzarella, you know what I mean? And if it ain't number one, it's number two. Mozzarella is the most sold cheese in the world. Oh, I did not know that, but I'm not surprised. Pizza. Right. Yeah. Makes sense. So... Um, Number two, I got. You prefer, what do you think about the buffalo mozzarella? Is it? I love buffalo mozzarella. Yeah. Oh yeah, you gotta eat it fresh. Though. Yeah, for me, like the buffalo mozzarella is like a, it's a little bit like regatta. Like 
the the consistency is a little bit more milkier, mm-hmm. but like the curds, if you'll notice, like are kind of the same. Mm-hmm. Um, like a burrata, you cut open a burrata, mm-hmm. and it's like. But number two, now you got me thinking about cheese, man. I'm gonna start farting. <laughs> um, the number two, I got I got Reggiano at number two mm. for me. When I was talking about Dominic Liucci before, uh-huh. his dad used to bring us like a brick of Parmigiano Reggiano, mm-hmm. and we would be like cutting it with like a plastic knife, like pull Cicero and the yeah, fellas, <laughs> literally, the garlic. Like, yeah, in the dorm room, just like. But Parmigiano and honey oh, is yeah. a big, yeah. big, big. Like, yeah. So for number three, I and I never really trusted the honey, like uh-huh. when it came to the cheeses, but then. I got introduced to the ricotta cheese with a little bit of honey, like some bread. Ricotta. Oh, yeah. my God. Oh, I got not ricotta mm. number three. Okay. And then at number four, I got the cachicavale at number four. Mm. That's a cheese, oh, like on a piece of bread when you melt it. Because if you'll notice, like, the, the inside of the cheese is very soft. But, like, with the Reggiano, you got, like, the you got the skin on the mm. outside. The Kajkawal got a skin, but it's not like it's a, a very, skin. it's a, yeah, it's not very visible. So it's an edible skin. It's too. edible. Yeah. So like for me, when you melt it on a piece of bread and it's like the, the bulk, the middle of the cheese melts and then the, cr- the crust is kind of still there hard. Like a little crunch. Oh yeah. It basically like signifies party over. Yeah. <laughs> <you know? laughs> yeah. No, literally like when my grandparents, when, when, when Nona would go to, to Italy, when we would go to Italy, we'd bring back by the fuck, like. We like Nona got on the plane naked because we all the all, instead of the clothes it was it yeah, was yeah, the yeah. cheese in the suitcase. <laughs> Just uh, the yeah. one outfit. Yeah, she threw on the one outfit and that was it. No shoes, no nothing because yeah. the rest was kachikava. Yeah. I I, I Gave, love it. Left the clothes in Italy. Yeah. Um, what about charcuterie boards? You big into because I feel like charcuterie boards. I mean, yeah. I still call Auntie Boss. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. We're, like we'll go out and say Auntie Boss, uh, uh, but now you know everyone. Everyone's calling. It's like the year of the charcuterie board. Everywhere you go, it's, it's like, like the oh. three years of the charcuterie yeah, board. Yeah, we got the charcuterie board because you know what it is. You can take a picture of it on Instagram and post it on your story and tag the restaurant. Yeah, yeah. that's what the charcuterie board yeah. is. Or people are big into when they show up to somebody's house, bring the charcuterie board. Yeah, you know? yeah. yeah, it's the new. They make a thing. It, like Rocco a, the comic just did a video. Yes, ma, where's the old piece of wood? <laughs> what do you, ma, what do you need to cut? <laughs> Get that yeah. It. yeah, for real. Shout out Rocco the comic, yeah. by the way, my yeah. favorite follow on Instagram. Oh, that's great. Besides Rocco's growing up a good Italian, guy. besides growing, um, I like that. Um, What's your number five? Number five, number five. I got the bocconcini at number five. Can I Ooh, can yeah. I do that? The double down on yeah, the mozzarella. Yeah, on the mozzarella. One but, and five. But the bocconcini is like a little different. Like like the way like when you eat it right when it's when it's ready, you throw a little bit of salt on there, and the salt kind of like melts onto the cheese, yeah, and oof. then then there's like the little milk on the bottom, like from from Nona the, taking the it. Out of, yeah, 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 like to me, that's I mean. You ever see that guy that makes sandwiches on TikTok? Go Malik or Senza Malik? Ah, no. After this video, I'll show you. But yeah. he uh, he cuts the mozzarella on top of the sandwich. So in other words. Like he he opens the bread, puts some more mortadelle, gets two oh, bacon yes. cheese, and then he sli- yeah yeah yeah. I was yeah. like, who needs a cutting board uh, when you got mortadelle? Cut it right on top. Oh, of it's the it. best. Since we're talking about mortadelle, oh, you're gonna hit me with the deli meats yeah, now. Top five deli meats. Yeah. Okay. Easy. I got super side at number one. Super size number one. Yes. Yes. You super forget side. about prosciutto. No, I didn't forget about prosciutto. I I I listen. For me, the super side is more about the texture, like. Mm-hmm. And I like it spicy too. So when, you know, the they got like the little it, like the spicy one's a little bit red, like mm-hmm. almost. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Um, it's like a little more uh, pinker. Yeah, that. and like I like the I like how I don't know. I'm weird. Like I like the texture too. Texture is big for me with food. Um, and then number two, I got prosciutto, obviously. Mm-hmm. Uh, number three, I got to go with the mortadelle because yeah. I think the mortadelle is making a comeback. I really, you don't, I, you know, around here, you don't really, t- like, see too many people talking about mortadelle. I think that it's a valuable piece of meat for the sandwich, and I think it completes a sandwich. Um, so I got the mortadelle number three. I prefer mortadelle in Italy. I, this not, when we're in Italy. It, it depends where you get it around yeah. here. That's the thing. It has to be Italian. It has, yeah. to, be, it has to be imported. Absolutely. When, when we're in Italy, it's like every day. 300 grams of mortadelle. Oh, oh yeah. Know? Oh, it's like, it's a, and it like melts in your mouth, too, like. The, especially if you get somebody who cuts it right, because that's nice huge. Thin. When you get it cut nice and You'll thin, you'll never get it cut thick in Italy. No, they don't. They know already. Yeah, when you and, and they understand listen, the size. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Like, have you ever seen a thick cut piece of mortadelle? 
it's unappetizing to yeah. me. I don't know. Yeah, for me, I, be. Only, I'm not only eating. for sometimes you'll see it like a little cut thicker for people that like make it with pasta you or put something. Put it in a salad yeah, yeah, yeah. or something like that. But it's not meant to be like that. No. And then for number four, number four, I'm going to go with the copy call for number four. Okay. Like, Spicy gobble gobble. Yeah, I don't. I don't think. I honestly don't think I need a number five to be honest. Like it, when you're you, gonna skip number five. Yeah, like what well, you could put like what pepperoni. Like for yeah, me, pepperoni people would be like, oh, that's not real Italian. That's no, like but Italian it is. It, but it is though. I feel like I feel like not nah, eh, a big comment. Right. People go pepperoni. Yeah. They like what peppers? Yeah, because Italian pepperoni yeah. is, is peppers. But we're like brisala. Yeah, nah, or, I'm not big on it. I, I or read, pancetta. But see, the pan, the the pancetta is like when you're making like a bolognese or when you're when you're cooking with pasta. Like for me, the pancetta is too. It tastes too much like the pig. Like ah, uh, uh, I don't like it. Like it what, tastes uh, babe the pig. What, what was that pig's name in that movie? Babe. Oh, I don't know. Or or another one. Know. Um. Which I don't even Charlotte's know what he's talking Web. about. Charlotte's Web. You know? Charlotte's Web. <laughs> Charlotte's Web, there's a little pig, no? I saw Charlotte's Web in like the third grade. You forgot it? I forgot it. Right? You're yeah. a young guy, but yeah. you should remember something. Yeah, no, like you're that. right. That was yeah. three years ago. No, huh? you're right. I, I got too much more to in my head. Um, but yeah, no, I don't know. I don't I don't really I don't really go too far beyond those four four deli meats, to be honest with you. Okay, that's all you need. Yeah, for me. At least we know what Nikki Cash likes. Yeah, no. I gotta ask you some crazy questions now. Okay. We're, at, we're at like 200-something episodes. I think we spoke about Oh, wow. I didn't everything. know that. Congratulations. We're like 220-something. That's awesome. So, we've talked about everything there is to be Italian. So, I don't know if you've seen our new friend, Joe Gambino. Yes, sir. He comes on the show a lot. So, I'm like, I got to start asking crazy questions. Oh, that I love it. We really don't talk about. So, I actually asked him his opinion on aliens, and he said aliens don't exist. Where's your stance with that? Joe. Joe, if you're watching this, I mean, we got we to gotta do a little bit better than that, Joe. I think, you ever see the movie Thor? Yeah. I think that's like, real life. I think that's a real thing. Where I, did it come from again? Uh, uh, I just guard, watched something it. Guard, Asgard. You know? Asgard. Yeah, I yeah. think Asgard is a real place. You mean to tell me that there's however millions of galaxies and that's it? It's just us? Yeah, it's yeah. me and you talking about Mortadel? Yeah. I mean, no. There's no way. Aliens... And I think, like, people get tripped up on the whole aliens thing. Like, they think, like, the big eyes yeah. and, like, the blah, like, that sort of stuff. What about, like, even insects, animals, like, you know? <clears throat> stuff like that. Like, little insects. You think they're from this world? You know? Well, like, yeah, like, for That's me. That's why I look at it. For me, like, an antelope, that, that ain't, <laughs> don't even, <laughs> no, don't even laugh. <laughs> that animal yeah. ain't from here, man. Uh, the antelope. Have you ever seen the videos of the, of the shit that's on the bottom of the ocean? Yeah, we, were to, we were talking about that that we've never did, like bro, 70% of the whole world ocean is ocean yeah and we don't we know like 1% of it yeah. that's probably off we only know the pollution on top yeah. that's yeah. what we but we don't know what's going on down there I'm sure people do know I'd more be, than I wouldn't be surprised if there's people down in the ocean somewhere doing like crazy shit that's probably where the antelope came from you look at some of these animals honestly like where the hell did they come from like, if you think about this. So you think mermaids exist? 100%. Or, like, people that live underwater? 100%. I, listen, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm going to use a little bit of logic here and say, like, you know, I don't, it, let me put it to you this way. If it came out that there was a mermaid in the Hudson River, huh? I wouldn't be shocked. I'd be like, told you. That's she'd be say. dirty though. Yeah, she'd have. Ariel, like, if you're reading this, yeah. yeah. Ariel, if you're watching this, it's not too late. Yeah, no. Nah. Yeah, maybe go down south. Maybe wear a mask. Yeah, yeah. But go the, to go to the Bahamas. Yeah, something nice. But for mm -hmm. me, like, you, there's no way that there ain't more life out there. Mm -hmm. Like I'm telling you, Thor exists because it boggles my mind all the stuff under sea too. Like I was thinking about it recently with Titanic when it crashed. Yeah. And it, Oh, yeah. Imagine how many things like that, too. Oh, like yeah. Hidden treasures. Yeah, yeah. No, no. like, for me, like, I've always wanted to be, like, a like a treasure hunter. Like, that, like, going out and, like, finding... I'm just not smart enough. I We're don't We're going to find you on Coney Island with, like, wait, one of those wait, wait, metal yeah. detectors. No, for real. Like, that, like, that yeah. stuff fascinates me. But the whole... But there's a lot out there. There's oh a lot out God. there. You got no idea. 
like, I, I saw this thing on the internet the other day, and who knows how true it is, but there's like an animal that's at the bottom of the ocean that looks like a human being. I forget what it's called, but it's Ooh. it's got like big eyes. I got to show you a picture of it after it's not uh, after we're done. But like for me, it just it just blows my mind the shit that we don't know. Like I think there's a megalodon out there. I think there's a forty foot great white shark just fucking roaming around eating like shit those up. Book stories, yeah, of no, the great of the great kraken. Yeah, like, a, like a big I think octopus. there's probably a couple pterodactyls that are still flying around that we don't know about. You know, I, there's probably a couple witches. There's, and you really like this stuff, but like from I, yeah, I, I I think I think it's interesting. I, I really do. Like Bigfoot, that that motherfucker exists. Are you sold on the world being ground? Yeah, that one's a little tough for yeah. me. Like if you really think that the Earth is flat, might have a hard time continuing yeah, that, that, that conversation. <laughs> there are some people. Yeah, like, like for, Kyrie Irving. Yeah, like for me, if you really think the Earth is flat, like okay, I just. Everything you say after that, I'll be like... You'll question it? You'll question a little bit of it. Because like, if the world was flat, wouldn't you get to a certain point and then you would just fall off there? But that's then? what I'm saying. But not even that. Like, Well, let's say they, the world was a rectangle. Yeah. How would we be able to go all the way around it? You get what I'm saying? Like, I want to fly to Australia, but then a European wants to fly to Australia. We go this way, they go that way. They still get there. Yeah, you lost me there. I don't. You know what I'm saying? Not really. No. Because thank God. If, I'm, thank if, God. I'm funny. If you're trying, <laughs> if you're trying to get, I don't know. Maybe one day before I die, I'll try to fly all around the world one time. Yeah. Like no. In a spaceship. Okay. But would no. you go? Would you go to outer space? Oh, a hundred percent. If someone told you like, oh, 100%. if Bezos is like, Nikki Cass, come. Oh, hundred percent. Come do no no oh, Pasquale I, on Mars. Absolutely. Yeah. Listen, I'm planning a trip to Mars. I'm gonna be fucking bored on the way there. When I when I point to you, we're gonna be there for three years. Yeah. Going up there. When I point to you, you got to do an impression. I'll be like, yeah, sure, Jeff, no problem. But you like, know, I'll give you three billion. Yeah, I'm in. <laughs> yeah. You, but you but you see the Earth from outer space. It's a circle. Yeah, but I never took that picture. Well, Pick never took the picture either. Yeah, but come on. How did he get the camera up there? Satellites, right? I don't know. You know, I saw something you could buy a satellite too. You could buy a star. That's the biggest oh, market. Oh, that would be That's nice. the biggest marketing gimmick I've ever seen. Growing up Italian stars? But how do you know which one is yours? And how are you ever going to see it? I mean, if I bought one, I, I'm claiming whichever one I want. They, will they send you... They, <laughs> and I tell them, like, that one's mine They right send there. you a receipt and everything. That's I think actually it's, cool. I think it's like a few hundred dollars to buy a star. And Is who it know, that cheap? They're basically giving it away. But who? But they don't own it in the first place. <laughs> no, well, who, now you do. Who's to say, okay, fine. This, then I'm going to own, land, the, I'm gonna land, own the Milky Way. This land where the, the office is on, we technically don't even own. Yeah, now you're getting too deep right. in that shit. Now because you're getting... land, land should have been free. Now we, we put a price yeah, on see, it. Yeah, see, I don't even know how to answer that. So if I buy the star I for so cheap in the future... It's when, like a company. Yeah. It's a company. I, but listen. the only thing with a star is I don't think you can actually inhabit a star. That's why I'd be more interested in like But how the island. hell do you... Know, how the hell can you own it and sell it? Like, who do you talk to? The star ain't got a landlord. <laughs> like, no, honestly. We gotta, listen, we got to talk about the taxes, yeah. you know? Yeah, we might have to raise your rent. Yeah, yeah, this year. yeah. Lit, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, where did you get the paperwork? You know what I mean? Like, some Joe Schmo started this. Can just go up and 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 like type this thing out and 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 sell. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. It might be a good press link though, because I'm trying to get verified on Instagram. Yeah, Sabino Curcio Panini Shop. Yeah, buys small Bu- star. Buys a small star. <laughs> he calls it the Mortadel. He calls it the Mortadel <laughs> star. <laughs> The Milky Way, the Mortadella Way, the yeah. Prosciutto Way. One more question. This is a big set, like a big part of our show. Yeah. Overrated, underrated, perfectly rated. Can't wait. We're going to do sports edition. I can't wait. You're the sports guy. I can't wait. American football. Perfectly rated. Why so? I think, well, I think that those that love it really do love it, and they don't really seek for more. They're excited for the season. It's been going on for however many years. Not too many games. Right, like a, a perfect a amount. Week. Like, they they, they love what they love. Those that don't like it don't really partake. So I don't really think that there's, like, and I'm a fan, so I, I think it's perfectly rated. I'm not, like, looking for more. I'm not, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't, think it's, I don't think it's overrated. I definitely don't think it's underrated. 
So I you would have say a favorite team? New York Giants. Man. I, I knew you were a Giant G-Man. guy. G-Man for sure. With football too, I think the cuisine is the biggest. With like everybody oh, goes yeah. crazy. Football Sunday, we got to order this. Oh yeah. Make the food. Make, oh bring yeah. This. And shout out to Jack Arnold. He's a barbecue guy. I saw with Christian McCaffrey. Yeah, with him, cook, right? cook. He cooks with the yeah. Panthers, uh, or cooks for a couple guys on the Panthers. By the way, Christian is just a is just an all time type of guy. But are you taller than him? No, nah, he he's few he's few inches taller than me. Yeah, he's a few inches taller. You're close. Than me. Yeah, close. Yeah, he didn't look like yeah. super tall. No, no, he you know yeah, but he he's like uh he's like a Greek statue, man. He, yeah, yeah, he's I never seen somebody. I mean, like running him. backs, I feel they're short. Yeah, he they gotta be able. to... I wouldn't say I think he's five ten. Oh, he's a big guy. Yeah, yeah, no, he's he's a big guy. And Whenever I think of running backs, I think of like little five six, five seven. Nah, yeah, he's 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 big. He's got a big heart. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Just I, the the cuisine is my favorite, my favorite thing. What's your favorite football wings? Food? Wings, yeah, wings. Me too. Like buffalo a nice wings. buffalo wing with, I mean, just blue cheese or ranch? Blue cheese. I right, thank God. Oh my God! After after the Bendinucci ranch. Oh no 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 blue cheese. I'm, I'm not. I, I don't like the ranch. I really don't. Overrated, underrated, perfectly rated. Baseball. Underrated. I always say underrated because baseball provides the biggest life lessons that you could ever receive. It teaches you how to fail. It teaches you how to be patient. It teaches you discipline. You'll never be perfect at the game. You'll fail more times than you, succeed. you succeed. That's true too. And and and, you and you're, still you're still great. Mm-hmm. And you're still great. And it and and in life it's the same way. You get back up every time you fail. Every time you strike out, you're going to get another at bat. Who says you're not going to get a hit? Mm-hmm. I think it's I think it's extremely chance. underrated. What do you say um, to people that say it's too many games, the game's too long? I could agree with that. Yeah. I could agree with that. I I when when I was in college, when I played in high school, I mean, we played 40 games, and that was tough. Mm-hmm. So 162 games, nine inning games, uh, yeah. that's a crazy. Yeah. I can't it's even imagine. Ma- it's a money ta- it, it's a, They want to pay like a $30 million for a day. Ma, it's a, just a ball and a bat. It's Actually, a, just I, a I ball and a bat. I could do that. I can't do this. Uh, when we was in Italy, I can't hit the ball more far than you ever saw. <laughs> That's it, too. They don't say seen. Yeah, it's saw. saw yeah. Okay, you ever yeah. saw. Yeah, that you never saw. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's like you never saw it. Yeah. yeah. My dad's big on that. Never. And never. The best thing i never seen yeah, in my yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, never <laughs> seen in my life. What you, I ain't even English. What are you talking yeah. about? Um, we're going to do the third sport. Soccer. Fo- the real football. Yeah. I think, for me... I might catch a lot of flack by saying this. I think soccer is a little overrated. Ooh. And, right. Well, but but listen, the only reason I'm saying that is because I'm not a big fan. Like with hockey, the same thing. I just I don't I don't really find the excitement in it. But I could definitely see if I did find the excitement in it, how I would be like obsessed with because you're 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 waiting all game for the ball to go yeah, into the back yeah, of the net. So when it actually happens to go crazy, yeah. it's unbelievable. And it's a very like it's not luck. But it's almost it's, the same rush of gambling. You know uh-huh, what I mean? Uh-huh. Like when I used to bet a couple of sports games, like it's it's exciting because you're you're waiting for that for that moment. I'm you know? confident in baseball and football. Not even American football. F- football and soccer are two sports where I feel the best team doesn't always win, but the yeah. team with the better strategy can yeah, win. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Baseball, no way. Yeah, baseball, you show up. In a seven-game series, yeah. the better team wins. Yeah, baseball, you show up. You have no idea who's going to win mm-hmm. those games, you know? Last sport, basketball. I think basketball is perfectly rated. You know, I'm five foot six. Um, I, I don't got much mobility in the chest and the shoulders. I never so. see Nikki basketball. Yeah, no, it's for a good reason. I did one video with Todd. Um, Todd, great basketball player. Yeah, I saw that too. I'm like, this guy plays third base. Yeah, he could- yeah. Like when I put up a shot, I got to say like the rose, spray the rosary before I throw it up because I don't know if it's going in the in the in the net or not. I got no clue where that throw thing Tim is Wakefield's going. Knuckleball. Yeah, no, for real. Yeah, I'm, yeah I, you know what I tell people, and this is how you could tell for those of you listening and watching at home um, if someone's a good basketball player or not. Like when you talk about like, oh, you play basketball. Yeah, I play at the rec, play at the park, whatever. I play really good defense. Yeah. Like when they say that, like. Oh, in the back of my head, I'm like, hey, you suck. <laughs> like that's what that means. Yeah, like yeah. you don't, you don't touch yeah, them. Yeah, that means you're gonna get fouled a lot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Thank you so rated. much. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, absolutely. It was an I honor. took up all your time. 
No, it was, a, it was an absolute honor. Thank you I'm, very I'm much. I'm excited to see what's next for the Nikki Cash journey. And I'm equally as excited to see what you guys got going on. Thank you on. so much, Seriously, bro. thank you.